This video, I'm going to be using my spatula to depuff the under eye area. What's a spatula? How does it work? Stay tuned. That's coming up next. Welcome back. Christine Beyer here, licensed esthetician for 22 years. And on my channel, we talk about skincare journeys because it's never one thing that makes your face look better. It's usually a whole combination of things. And so this month we are talking about the eyes. We're doing a deep dive into the eyes. And this is a spatula. You may have one already that you can use for this, but ultrasonic spatulas are really very versatile and I love using them in my treatment room. If I have a new client, I'm not quite sure how her skin is going to react, I will put an enzyme on and then vibrate off all the dead cells that that enzyme sort of unearths or chews off because enzymes work differently from acids. Enzymes work, work like Pac-Man where they eat up the entire dead cell, right? All the debris and acids go zip 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 down the intercellular glue that holds the dead cells on. So if it were bricks and mortar, if dead cells were bricks and mortar, enzymes would eat the bricks and acids eat the mortar. So anyway, I will put on an enzyme, let that work in for a while, let it do its thing, and then I will take it off with this and it just does an amazing exfoliation. Now if you have super sensitive skin, you could just use water and take off the dead cells like that with the water. This also can be used for product penetration. And so there's two ways that you use this. If you have the blade facing down, the little curve facing down, that's when you would use it for exfoliation. If you flip the device where the blade is sort of turned up, that's when you can put on your nourishing gel-based mask and work that into the skin do some nice product penetration. It's also good for lifting, right? So if you want to do some lifting, now make sure you don't leave it. You, you would want to keep it moving. But this is a great job for under eye puffiness. And you could do a little gentle exfoliation around the eyes with this as well. And I actually really like it for that. But just keep it moving <laughs> because I, this, this little guy is very strong. If you have another device and you use this, you will just be so spoiled and your other device will just be done for because you'll be like, this is trash. This is such a high quality device. It's made in Germany by MBK and they've been around for a long time but it's just solid and it's just one of those devices that you buy once in your lifetime. You, that's it. It's, it's such high quality stuff, but it also has a two year warranty, which is just unheard of now in the beauty industry. So it can be used for exfoliation, product penetration. You can put it on a little corner of your nose. If you've got a, if you've got a blackhead, you can just like leave it there for a second, move it ever so slightly wiggle it and that black head will pop out. These are so much fun and they're really practical to have in the treatment room, but at home, they're just a fun device to use. It's very relaxing. I wanted to show you how to use it underneath the eye to relieve puffiness. So let me show you what that looks like. So first you would want to prep the skin by applying a conductive gel. And in this case, I'm using the HydroLift conductive gel and mask. You would want to always keep the device moving. And here I'm doing, this is my mom, my mom doll. And I'm doing the whole eye. You see I'm sweeping up, but when I go underneath the eye, I sweep from the center of the eye out towards the lymph nodes there at the temple. And the same thing on the left-hand side where you just really get a good purchase of skin and make sure that's nice and smooth on the face and sweep that lymph from the corner of the eye out towards the lymph nodes which are at the temples and the sides of the face. So here I'm just doing a little bit of lifting moves. It feels really good. It's like a gentle sort of tapping and whenever I tape it sounds like a little cat purring 
the sonic on this device. It sounds like a cat purring on a camera for some reason. So yeah, you just do nice gentle sweeps from the center of the face out towards the ear. Aim to do this two to three minutes per eye and only one to two times per week. Thanks for watching. Bye now.